chairs, what it is and what it ain't. It's yours truly, Liquid Cash. And right now, you're watching the Power of Thought YouTube series. And this YouTube series is all about changing your way of thinking. Because if you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. So we're going to dissect my book, The Power of Thought. If you haven't got the book, it's all good. Hopefully you still find value in this video. For those who do have the book, y'all can just follow along. Uh, we on chapter one and we still, you know what I mean, dissecting chapter one. And I'm going to start where I left off at and um, I'm going to go ahead and read this particular highlighted paragraph and, these are the, and, and I'm going to expand on it as I go along. They say good things come to those who wait, but in actuality, good things come to those who can stay in a positive mind state. If you hold on to your goals in your mind and see those goals being accomplished, and feeling the satisfaction of achievement, then it's only a matter of time before it manifests into your reality. Now, the thing about goals and trying to accomplish goals, a lot of times people think that they're thinking about their goal, but they're actually thinking about the lack of not having their goal, you know, which stops the process of you achieving your goals. You know, so it's important that you understand that you can't just sit around and think that your goal is just gonna appear out of the sky. One of the biggest misconceptions about the law of attraction is that you can just think about something and it's gonna appear into your reality. And that's really not the case. That's, a, that's, that's partially true, but not all the way true because we are creative beings. So, you know, the, uh, the, man, the law of attraction cannot be activated unless you're in the process of creating, achieving a goal, you're, you're pursuing something. So you have to be in the process of creating and then that activates the law of attraction. So don't think you're gonna just sit around all day and think your goal is just gonna appear out of the sky. You have to be in the process of creating it and making it happen. That's how the law of attraction is actually activated. See, a lot of times people think you can just sit around, meditate, and something is gonna happen. You have to be in the process of making it happen. And that's how it's all created. That's how the magic happens. You dig? Anyway, we're gonna move along. If you really want to do something, you will find a way to get it done, no matter what. And if you don't, you'll just find an excuse. And that's just what it is. A lot of people are suffering from the disease called excuse-itis. They make an excuse for everything. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they, they have 101 reasons on why they're not doing what they really want to do. You know, a lot of people are just passing the time, wasting time, killing time. But time wastes on no man. It's one of the uh, most valuable commodity in the world. Time is a valuable thing, but we waste it like it ain't nothing. You know, we come up with a lot of excuses of why we're not achieving our goal. They're suffering from a disease called excuse-itis. You have to cure yourself of that disease. It's very important. You know, you know, you, you, you can listen to somebody talk about what they want to do, and then you hear them in the same sentence say why they're not going to do it or why they can't do it. You know what I mean? But they sit around thinking, of, thinking about not having it. You know, not, not having the car, not having the jewelry, not having all the things they may want, the house, the clothes, but they making excuses on why they're not going out there achieving their goals. You can't sit around all day and think somebody is just going to just hand you some money. You know what I mean? You have to go out there, utilize your time wisely and pursue whatever you're trying to do. So it's important. And uh, as I move forward, I said, keep your goals to yourself because most people are so negative, they will try to plant the seed of doubt and fear in your mind, coming up with all sorts of negative reason and excuses why you can't accomplish your goals. And that's just what it is. You know, um, a lot of times I keep my goals to myself. You know, I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve and, you know, I have a lot of supportive friends, but, you know, I don't even share my goals with them. And the reason being is because I like to actually, you know, do things. I don't like to talk about it. I like to do it. I don't just sit around and just talk about my goals with my homeboys. 
I actually go out there and pursue it. And once they see the goal is manifesting in my reality, then we talk about it. Then we discuss it. And they say, yo, why you didn't tell me about this? Because I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of making it happen. I'm not a talker, I'm a doer. A lot of people out there just, you know, there to uh, hear your goals, but they don't want to help you achieve your goals. Not everybody want to, you know, uh, go through the process of, you know, achieving your goal with you. They want to they wanna see the goal done and then they wanna jump on the train. They wanna jump on the bandwagon. A lot of people do that. So it's important that you keep your goals to yourself unless you have a supportive team that is not only gonna hear your goal, but actually help you on the pursuit of your goal. If I know my homeboy's not gonna help me, you know, get from point A to B, there's no use for me even speaking to him about whatever I'm trying to get done. Cause it's a waste of time, it's a waste of conversation. And I don't like to have just frivolous conversation. If I'm talking about something that I want to do and I'm dreaming big or I have a goal or a dream that I'm trying to accomplish, if you're not helping me on that journey, there's no reason for us to sit down and talk about it. You know what I mean? Because nine out of the 10 times, you might say something negative to take me off of my square, take me off of my, 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 my pursuit. So it's important to uh, have a supportive uh, um, group of people in your life that's going to help you achieve your goals. And if you share it with, 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 with someone, make sure that they're in a supportive group. Because other than that, people start putting all their, lim their limitations on what they can achieve on you. And it'll be a waste of, con waste of time having that conversation anyway. Let me move forward, check it out. Teamwork still make the dream work. And that's just what it is, baby. Teamwork still make the dream work. I don't care what nobody tell you. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody in this world became successful on their own. It took a collective of people, a collective of energy. You know, I had a lot of people in my life that was around me and I, you know, educate them on how to make more money and how to accomplish their goals. And then at some point we grew apart for whatever reason. They felt like, you know, it was them who was, who, 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 was the purpose for them achieving their goal. They felt like they had, they, they was the one that was actually making the things happen that they want to make happen. And that's partially true, but at the end of the day, I had to give you the game. I had to give you the knowledge in order for you to be able to go and pursue what you're trying to do. So a lot of times people gain success by the knowledge that I might give them. And then once they got that success, they feel like they can go on their own and be bigger than, you know, just being, you know, being around me for whatever reason. And I don't knock them, I let them do their thing. You know what I mean? Because I want everybody to, you know what I mean, do their thing and be as big as they want to be. But for some reason, when they, you know, depart from my, my tutoring, they end up, you know what I mean, going on a downhill. They end up on a decline. And they don't understand why they end up on a decline. They have no idea because they only got a little bit of the information. They didn't got all of it. They only got a little bit of the information. They thought they had it all just because they was able to make more money. But they have to understand is that it's a collective of energy. It's, you know, it's me plus them actually making these things happen. So teamwork is important because you can get far on your own, right? But if you wanna, if you wanna really Get, the, get your full potential out of something, you really wanna get all of what you're supposed to get, it's important to build a team that's gonna help you get there. Your energy can only take you so far. So you're gonna to have to gravitate to people who wanna see you win and who have the same goal as you. And at the end of the day, y'all going to the same place. It's the same end goal. And the end goal is to be successful in whatever y'all are trying to make happen. So it's important to understand is don't think you can do it on your own because nine out of 10 times, it's just your ego getting the best of you. It's your ego getting in the way, thinking that you can do it without this person. You don't need their help. You can do it on your own. But if that was the case, why didn't you do it before you even met that individual? Why wasn't you where you was at before you met that individual that gave you the knowledge or gave you the game that you needed to get where you wanted to go? If that was the case, you wouldn't have met that individual. 
you wouldn't have needed them from the jump, but you did need them. That's why now you're you, you're at a certain level and you feel like, you know what? I could do I could do the rest on my own. I could take it to the finish line on my own. Nah, baby, you gotta <laughs> you gotta understand, man. It's a collective of people that help you get to where you're trying to go. If you wanna go fast, go alone. But if you wanna go far, we must go together. Remember that. Y'all should write that down. That's a quote that y'all should write down. Take your piece, take your pencil, take your pad out, write that shit down, man. Some of this shit I'm gonna say is gonna be valuable information. Y'all need to write this shit down so you can embed it inside of your brain. You know what I mean? Make it, make it stand like a stain on, on a shirt in your mind, you know what I mean? I want it to be like a stain on your mind, man. You dig? Anyway, we're gonna move forward. The difference between a millionaire and a poor person is a difference in mentality. That's it. That's it. The difference between a millionaire and a poor person is a difference in mentality. You know, I ask people all the time, what's the difference between a millionaire and a poor person? They can't tell me. You know what I mean? They don't want, most people don't know how to answer that question. But it's a difference in mentality. And what it is is that time and the size of the dream that they have is really the crust of the differences between the two. Time and the size of the dream. And let me try to explain this a little bit better. When you're growing up and you're just a kid and you're trying to, you know, you're moving through life, your father or your mother buy you a bicycle, right? That's what you want because you see everybody on the street driving their bikes and that's what you want to have. You know, you want to have a bicycle. And then, you know, nine out of ten times, you're just learning how to ride so you get a training wheel on it, right? So, now you have a bike. You're at a young age. As you get older, time goes by, you want a bigger bike. Because you get a little older, you want a bigger bike because the guys uh, uh, in your neighborhood are riding bigger bikes. And then you get a little bit older and time goes by and your dreams get bigger. Now you want a car. You know what I mean? Now you want a car. Now you feel like, okay, it's time for me to have a car because I'm at that age. You know what I mean? So, and as you get older and time goes by, your dreams get even more bigger. Now you want a luxury car. Now that Honda or that Camry that you started off with ain't good enough. You want a luxury car. So that's basically what it is. It's time and the size of your dream. See, as you get older and time goes by, your dreams get bigger and you want more out of life, you know? So the difference between you and the millionaire or the person who have the cars, the jets and all the things that you, that, uh, that you probably want is time and the size of their dreams. They probably started off wanting a jet. You started off just wanting a car. You know what I mean? They started off wanting a mansion. You might have started off just wanting an apartment. You know what I mean? So that's basically what it is. It's the size of the dream and time. time as time goes by, your dreams and your goals will get bigger. You will want to go from that apartment into a house or maybe from that apartment into a condo and from that condo into a house and then from that house into a bigger house. So that's basically what's the difference between a millionaire and a poor person is a difference in mentality and time and the size of their goals. We're going to move forward, you dig? A flick of the mind it's faster than the flick of the wrist. Most of the time, we get in our own way by focusing on what we don't have instead of appreciating and using what we do have to our advantage. And damn, a lot of people, you know what I mean, is victim to that, you know? They, they, they focusing on what they don't have and not understanding there's, there's everything that you need is right around you. Pay attention. Everything you need is right around you. To get to that next level, look at what you have and work with what you got. Don't just focus on that, I need this or I need that, or, I need this or I need that. You know what I mean? You, if you do that, you'll be waiting forever for things to happen. You know what I mean? Because you feel like I can't do this until I get that. And all you're doing is killing time. Time is one of the most valuable commodities in the world. 
You must understand that, you must know that. I talk about this all the time with my family members, friends, and everybody that's willing to listen. You have to utilize every hour of the day pursuing a goal, doing something productive. You understand? So it's important that you focus on what you do have, use it to your advantage. Don't complain about what you don't have because that takes away from what you do have and you're now you're not, now you're complaining and you you're diagnosing yourself more with excuse itis and you're not achieving your goal. So, what's the sense of complaining on what you don't have? If you want to start a delivery service, don't wait till you get a car, buy a bike. If you got a bike, use the bike. You know what I mean? Use the bike. If you got to do that to get to where you're trying to go, that's what you got to do. You want to start a delivery service or you want to whatever you want to do, work with what you got so you can work your way up and buy the things you need to take it to the next level. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I don't sit around and, you know what I mean, wait for somebody to give me something. If I want to film something, I, I, I work with what I got. If I got to use my phone to film something that I want to film, I'm going to use my phone until I can get enough money to go buy me a better camera. And I'm going to deal with the quality of what I have right now because if I don't do what I really want to do, I'll be sitting around waiting forever because ain't nobody coming in to give me or buy me a camera. And if they do, thank God. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for it. You know what I mean? Wait sunk the ship. No time is better than the present. You know what I mean? So don't be suffering from excuse-itis, man. A flick of the mind is faster than a flick of the wrist. Remember that. I hope y'all got y'all pen and y'all pads out, man. Cause some of this shit right here, y'all know y'all need to jot down. You dig? But like I said again, get the book, The Power of Thought. You'll have it with you every day. You can read it every day. You can keep it with you every day and just soak up some of this information. Comfortability is the enemy of progress, and I believe it to be so. Don't be afraid to take risks. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And ain't that the truth? Listen, man. There's a lot of people not where they're at in life because they got comfortable. Even people that became millionaires and, uh, you know, people who was really, you know, getting to the bag, they end up losing it all. And you ask yourself, how? How does somebody come from being a millionaire and, and end up losing it all? Let's people who came from being a billionaire and end up losing it all. How do they lose it all? They got comfortable. You know what I mean? They got comfortable. They stopped doing what they did to get there. You know what I mean? I see it all the time. I see it every day. Niggas around me get comfortable. You know what I mean? And, and, and most of the time, the people who get comfortable don't even have the things that they really want. But they comfortable. They comfortable with going to the same house, driving the same car. They comfortable with just smoking weed and chilling all day and just not really pursuing their goals. Not understanding that, man, ain't nothing going to come to a sleeper but a dream. Wake the fuck up. You did? So, I don't get comfortable with anything, man. I'm always, I'm, I, 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 I'm, 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 um, I'm comfortable living the life that I live, but I'm always in pursuit of something new. I'm always in a pursuit to achieve more out of life. And comfortability is the enemy of progress. So, you don't want to be too comfortable where you stop doing what you had to do to get to where you at at this particular moment. Always be striving to achieve the next goal. Don't let comfortability knock you out of your position. It happens a lot of times to a lot of people. Don't think you're exempt. You know what I mean? That's, that's one of the problems. Most people think they're exempt, that it can't happen to them, but it could. So I'm always on the pursuit of striving to achieve new goals and taking it to a higher level because I understand my potential. Know your potential. Understand who you are and how high you can take it and how far you can take it and always be on that pursuit to take it to another, take it up another notch. You know what I mean? So I repeat, comfortability is the enemy of progress. Don't get too comfortable. Always be striving to achieve another goal and be on the move because if you don't, you end up being a drifter. And you don't want to be a drifter. A drifter, <laughs> you dig? They say an idle mind is the devil's playground. You dig? So 
It's important you understand that. Anyway, that's it for this particular episode. I want y'all to check out the book. If you don't got the book, it's all good. Watch this episode over and over and over again so you can get some of this information inside of your brain. Make it a part of your personality. Put it inside you so you know this information. You can recite it because if you... If you, if, you, if you know something, it becomes, who you, it becomes a part of you. It becomes who you are. You know what I mean? And you change your vibration. You change your DNA by knowing something and having a different thought process. And then you start to achieve all the things you want out of life because you change your way of thinking. It's your thoughts that create abundance for you. I'm going to keep on repeating that. It's your thoughts. If you want to change your life, you have to change your mindset. You have to reprogram the mind. That's what I had to do to get to where I wanted to be. I had to reprogram my mind. I couldn't think the same way all my friends was thinking. I couldn't be doing the same thing all my friends was doing because they wasn't at the level that I wanted to be. You know what I mean? They was just on level one. I wanted to get to level 10, but I can't get there. We all thinking the same way. Somebody got to be out the box. Somebody got to be different. I chose to be different. I chose to be a different individual. I chose to be a different beast. Like I said, none of my lifetime I'd ever thought about writing a book, but I did. Why? Because I was searching for knowledge. I was searching for the game. And I got it. But unlike the rest of them, I'm not going to keep it to myself. I'm going to share it. I'm going to tell you the things that I apply daily in my life to get what I need, to get what I want. And I'm still achieving more. I'm still striving for more. I'm still achieving. I'm still not where I ultimately want to be, but I'm comfortable. I'm better off than most. You know what I mean? So it's important that you understand that read, 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 because leaders are readers. All the answers to your questions is in a book. But 99% of us don't read enough. That's why I'm doing this video. Because I know a lot of us on YouTube. And we just watching YouTube videos. So hopefully somebody scroll past this YouTube video. And check it out. And get some good information that they can use and apply in their own life. If you continue to think like you've always thought. You continue to get what you've always got. I want y'all to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share the video with a friend. Do not keep the information to yourself. I'm sharing it with you. So understand that it's important to share it with other people because the more you grow, the more others grow around you. So don't just take the information and grow and leave people behind. Share the gems that you learn along your way with other people and God will bless you with more gems. You dig? Like I said, it's yours truly, Liquid Cash. And remember, what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create.